the jury is entering the courtroom right now. This is the Casey Anthony trial verdict coming back right now. If you are just joining us, we are live at the Orange County Courthouse where the Casey Anthony verdict is now back. The jury is just entering the courtroom about to read the verdict. State recognized presence of the jury. We do, Your Honor. And does the defense. Yes, sir, we do. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Have you reached a verdict? Yes, sir. Would you hand the verdict form to the court deputy, please? Will the defendant rise along with counsel? Madam Clerk, you may publish the verdicts. Thank you, Judge. In the circuit, In the circuit court, court for the Ninth Judicial Circuit in and for Orange County, Florida, State of Florida versus Casey Marie Anthony. As to case number 2008, CF 15606-0. As to the charge of first degree murder, Verdict as to count one, we the jury find the defendant not guilty, so say we all, dated at Orlando, Orange County, Florida, on this fifth day of July, 2011, signed four person. As to the charge of aggravated child abuse, verdict as to count two, we the jury find the defendant not guilty, so say we all, dated at Orlando, Orange County, Florida, this fifth day of July, 2011, signed four person, four person. As to the charge of aggravated manslaughter of a child, verdict is to count three. We, the jury, find the defendant not guilty. So say we all, dated at Orlando, Orange County, Florida, this fifth day of July, 2011, signed for person. As to the charge of providing false information to a law enforcement officer, verdict is to count four. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of providing false information to a law enforcement officer as charged in the indictment. So say we all, dated Orlando, Orange County, Florida, this fifth day of July, 2011, signed for person. As to the charge of providing false information to law enforcement officer, verdict is to count five. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of providing false information to a law enforcement officer as charged in the indictment. So say we all, dated Orlando, Orange County, Florida, this 5th day of July, 2011, signed for person. As to the charge of providing false information to a law enforcement officer, verdict is to count six. We, the jury, find the defendant not guilty. Sorry. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of providing false information to a law enforcement officer as charged in the indictment. So say we all, data Orlando, Orange County, Florida, this 5th day of July, 2011, signed for person. As to the charge of providing false information to a law enforcement officer, verdict is to count seven. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of providing false information to a law enforcement officer as charged in the indictment. So say we all, dated Orlando, Orange County, Florida, this fifth day of July, 2011, signed for person. Madam Clerk, you may poll the jury. Juror number one, were these your true and correct verdicts? Pardon? Juror number one, were these your true and correct verdicts? Not guilty. Were they all your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number two, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number three, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number four, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number five, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number six, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number seven, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number eight, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. 
Juror number nine, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number 10, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number 11, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. And juror number 12, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Well, uh, counsel and the defendant approached the podium. Not all the counsel, but just representative sample. Casey, Marie Anthony, a jury of your peers, having found you not guilty as to the charge contained in count one of the indictment, murder in the first degree, at this time I will adjudge you to be not guilty. As to uh, count two, the crime of aggravated child abuse, a jury of your peers having found you to be not guilty, the court will adjudge you to be not guilty of the crime contained in count two. As to count three, aggravated manslaughter of a child, a jury of your peers having you found you not guilty, I will adjudge you to be not guilty of that count. As to counts four, five, six, and seven, providing false information to a law enforcement officer, I will adjudge you to be guilty of those uh, counts in order that you be fingerprinted here in open court at this time. So Michelle That's Suskauer, News court. Channel 5 and Fox 29 legal analyst, joining us after this surprising, in many ways, court decision coming down today. Michelle, your read on the verdict. I, I'm shocked. I really am. I, I did not expect it. I don't think anybody expected this. I, I really don't. I think this was a, a, a tremendous surprise. Um, she's Jeff but, Ashton right there shaking his head side to side. I mean, this is look. This is this is our jury system, and a jury of her peers listened to the evidence. And you're going to have a lot of people who are going to be saying that you know how could the jury come back with this? They're the ones who were in there. They saw the body language of these witnesses, and let's listen let's back listen. into Judge Perry. Okay. Will you be prepared to go sentencing, go to sentencing Thursday or Friday of this week? Thursday. Are we going to vote? Thursday. Thursday. Okay. okay. Then we'll set sentencing Thursday at 9 a.m. in this courtroom. Okay. Are there any other matters uh, that we need to take up at this time? Nothing from the state, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, on behalf of the citizens of the Ninth Judicial Circuit, I would like to express my sincere thanks and appreciation for your service as uh, jurors. You are all residents of Pinellas County, Florida. And we uh, came over there, uh, met with you, questioned you, and took you away from your families for a very extended period of time. And for that, I say thank you. As I told you when I first spoke with you uh, in talking about jury service, uh, that one of the most important obligations of citizenship, in my opinion, was service on a jury. I tell you it was very important that if we believed in that constitutional provision, that provision that provides a right to trial by jury, that it was important for people to serve no matter what that sacrifice would be. Uh, as you can tell by some of the questions that some folks answered, a lot of people did not want to serve. Uh, and uh, you knew it would be a hardship uh, and uh, you were candid with the attorneys. You answered all their questions, and you served. And for that, we thank you. 
I would also wish to advise you of some very special privileges enjoyed by jurors. No juror can ever be required to talk about the discussions that occurred in the jury room except by court order. For many centuries, our society has relied upon juries for consideration of difficult cases. We have recognized for hundreds of years that a jury's deliberations, discussions, and vote shall remain their private affairs as long as they wish it. Therefore, the law gives you a unique privilege not to speak about your jury work. Although you are at liberty to speak with anyone about your deliberations, you are also at liberty to refuse to speak to anyone. A request to discuss either your verdict or your deliberations may come from those who are simply curious or from those who might seek to find fault with you. From the media, from attorneys or elsewhere, it will be up to you to decide whether to preserve your privacy as jurors. Again, thank you. You're here by discharge, and I will see you shortly back in the jury room. Thank you. So once again, Casey Anthony found not guilty of first-degree murder, not guilty of aggravated child abuse, not guilty of aggravated manslaughter of, the, of a child. She was found guilty of providing false information to a, a law enforcement. Four counts of that, right, Michelle Sessinger? That's right. That's right. Four counts of that, and the judge is going to be sentencing her on Thursday at 9. Okay. So we saw just a moment ago, and you can see her embracing Jose Baez there, and uh, talk just a little bit about, if you can, Michelle, um, Jose Baez right now. I mean, obviously, uh, I, he was I, underestimated a lot throughout this trial. He was, he was underestimated. This has absolutely made his career. There's no question about it. And everybody is very emotional. Everybody is crying. They have just put their heart and soul into this. This was such a, a challenging case, not only because of the evidence against her, but also because of just the intense, intense, never be seen, never before seen media spotlight. Sure. So I thought it was, they, they put together this team for her and they, they beat the state. So if you were watching just a moment ago, you may have seen the, the shot of George and Cindy Anthony leaving right after the verdict was read. They obviously tried to avoid much of the media spotlight that's going to be shining down in this courtroom for the next few days. Uh, but uh, what's running through their minds, Michelle? Uh, well, I, obviously, I think that they're... I, I would think that Cindy Anthony would be very relieved that her daughter is going to be able to uh, not spend the rest of her life in prison or, or not have her life taken by the state of Florida. Sure. I think George Anthony is, uh, I think that this is a, a broken family, has right. been broken for a while, and I think that this is absolutely not repairable mm -hmm. uh, because, because she was saved at the expense of George Anthony being thrown under the bus. And obviously this jury, this jury, dislike George Anthony because it was really one against the other. Sure. And you said this uh, when we were on break just a couple seconds ago that very likely on Thursday, Casey Anthony, wrap your mind around this, Casey, Casey Anthony could st step in front of Judge Belvin Perry and he could send her home time served. Absolutely. He could do it. He could send her. She has been in custody for several years and he could send her home, um, sentence to the time already served. And so it, it, it's very possible that she's going to walk out of the courtroom on Thursday. But obviously, I've been wrong before because I thought she was going to be found guilty of something. Well, Michelle, I, you know, you're not alone. I think jaws are on the ground across the state, across this country, around the world. We saw that a woman had flown in from Germany yesterday to be part right. and witness this, uh, this verdict today. So what happened? How did the prosecution lose this? Well, you know, they, they, the defense kept driving home the fact that the state had a hundred percent of the burden mm -hmm. here a hundred percent and that they could not prove their case beyond a reasonable doubt they had doubts they had doubts that the jury felt were reasonable and that there were too many doubts because no it, it some you know it's very difficult uh, for a state to prove a circumstantial case. Uh, in this particular case, it was overwhelming, what I thought was overwhelming circumstantial evidence. Sure. Uh, but this jury of 12 folks from Pinellas County did not think so. You said they were, they've been together for almost six weeks now. They that's know right. each other very well. That's, that's uh, and, right. And I thought with a quick verdict that this was not going to be normally, it wouldn't be good for Casey Anthony. So, but again, they didn't need, they were convinced. They didn't need to see any evidence. They didn't need to hear any evidence. No readbacks, no questions. 
They knew what they wanted to do, and maybe they just had maybe one or two holdouts. We're going to find out because these jurors are now discharged, mm -hmm. which means they can, they're actually being brought to a media room right now, and they have an opportunity to speak to the media. And we may see some of them on the Today Show tomorrow. You never know. Absolutely. So beyond a reasonable doubt, obviously the state did not do a good enough job to convince this jury beyond a reasonable doubt. Where did it, un did it unravel? I heard yesterday some, some chatter about how they made a lot of these computer searches done in the Anthony home, the neck breaking, the chloroform searches months before uh, little Kaylee died. Uh, and then yesterday, surprisingly, in closing, you didn't hear Linda Drain Burdick bring that up. Why is that? You know, I don't know why she didn't bring it up, because I thought that was a very strong point. Uh, but the, I think that uh, Cheney Mason did a very, very good job. He's very folksy, very down home. And when you heard him arguing the other day to this jury that, look, this just doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. No, the, the why, the how, there are no answers. Mm. And you cannot let the state get away with that. The state doesn't know either, and they want you to go into a particular direction and guess. She looks, look at her face. You've, you never, seen, you've never seen her so happy. And, and so that, what are they doing right now? Are they well, she, she, was, she was just, because she was adjudicated guilty, she was convicted of four counts of providing false information uh, to the police. So she's, uh, the judge convicted her of those charges. So she is being fingerprinted and then she's being taken to jail right. uh, where she is going to stay for the next uh, two days. And then there is going to be a sentencing hearing. And like I said, the judge could very well sentence her to the time she's already served. Because obviously she was convicted of the least serious. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so it's, it's going to be, there's going to be a, uh, a very probably short sentencing hearing on Thursday. So many people are shocked about this right, right now, oh, Michelle. I, I think I can't, w can't wait to get on Facebook and right. Twitter because I think people are just going to be crazed about this. I was in a shoe shop in Palm Beach Gardens this morning standing in line and everybody was talking about this and what was said uh, uniformly from every person standing in that line is they're going to get her on something aggravated manslaughter at the very least. That's right. So, so the, the feeling in the court of public opinion and among legal scholars was right. that she was, she was going to she was going to jail for this. She was, she was going to do some time for this. And, and it's because of, you know, the lying. I think people really were just disliked her, mm -hmm. uh, didn't like her personality, didn't, the, 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 the parting afterwards. But this jury held the state to their burden, and they were not convinced beyond a reasonable doubt. They had doubts that were reasonable, and they were all on the same page. They came to this very, very important decision really quickly if you look at the, sort of the big scheme of this mm -hmm. uh, and they spent a lot of time together and um, you know it, it they I think they were all ready to go home do you think that uh, Judge Belvin Perry's charge to the jury yesterday I mean I know that's that's routine you know they're always read uh, exactly what the the law right, states right. but he was pretty clear, emphatic at times yesterday, uh, and, and that perhaps that resonated with the jury in terms of going back into, or, or do you really feel like this jury had made up their mind prior to the charge yesterday? I, 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 think, I think that the, you know, closings were, I think, were very, very important here, and I, I underestimated Jose Bias throughout this trial, because I, 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 he was, you know, a, a fairly inexperienced attorney, but I still said, no matter how he did during the trial, he really brought it all together in closing. He spoke basically without notes. Mm -hmm. He was very comfortable in front of this jury mm -hmm. and he did a very, very good job. He, and uh, obviously he did a great job because his client was acquitted. Again, saying yesterday or two days ago, he said, how can you say that it was proven beyond a reasonable doubt? How? That was his quote. And I remember hearing that and thinking, really good point. If I'm a jury, there That's were right. questions rumbling around in my mind. Again, but, you know, but, but I also think, Shannon, it's also George Anthony was demonized in opening statement. He had, there was, when they accused him, Jose Baez accused him of sexually abusing his daughter and throwing that out there, that stuck in their minds. Even though he was not permitted to address that in closing arguments because there was no, zero evidence of it. You throw that out there, you can't unring that bell. And you were saying that all day yesterday. How can he win this case if he did not address that? That was huge gaffe in your mind. Well, I think that was a, that was a gaffe, and also the fact that there was really, other than a picture of the baby by the pool, I think that there was really nothing else to show 
drowning. One last question for you, Michelle. We're going to wrap this up and, of course, continue our coverage on the ground out of Orlando to, today. We have several crews and, uh, on the ground out, out, uh, outside the Orange County Courthouse, and we'll have a special update on this at 4 o'clock this afternoon here on News Channel 5 and Fox 29 as well. But very quickly, before you go, Michelle, and again, you'll be with us throughout the day, but uh, closing this up, um, historic, how and why was this case so historic? I heard you again saying yesterday that this would be a landmark case that law students would be studying for years to come. Why is that? Because because I think that the, the, the intense media coverage, the way that we are now in terms of getting information every second, every moment, um, I think that, that it, is, it is unprecedented spotlight that this has been put on. Um, and uh, I think that the, the way that the attorneys handled this, the fact that this was very instructive to the entire country, mm -hmm. really about the way that trials work, I think is really, I, I thought it was very, very interesting. And I do think that they're going to study this in law schools. And I think that maybe the high schools are going to be studying this yeah. in civics classes. It really is a, a lesson for all of us. Well, it certainly has captivated the country and the world. For, for certainly the last five weeks and certainly three years prior to that as, as all the details of this case but I'm shocked. unraveled. I, I'm shocked. I am. I am. Well, thank Michelle you. Suskauer, we thank you for being on call and being right here at our side. They're telling thank us we you. have a couple more minutes to fill here. Tell me, tell me this. As Jose Baez walks out of that courtroom today, what, because we're looking at him here, live right. pictures again out of the Orange County Courthouse, uh, we said prior to the verdict, verdict being read, if uh, it could be damning for the state of Florida, the prosecutor's office, and how trials are handled in this state, and it could make this man's career. I mean, he's set, is he not, as a defense attorney? I think this is a, this, this is a, a once in a lifetime case. It's mm -hmm. very hard to get a case like this. This is an amazing, amazing opportunity that he has as a relatively new lawyer. He's only been practicing, I think, maybe six or seven years, maybe wow. six years. So I think it was, it was a great opportunity for him. And, um, and certainly, you know, we're going to be seeing him on TV and we're going to be seeing him with other cases. And this is certainly a, a, an, a tremendous opportunity for him. And I'm very happy for him. He worked Hard. Very quickly, the state, what does it do to the image of the state around the world? Well, I, you know what? They, we ha this is our jury system. This is, they, did, they did the absolute best that they could. Mm -hmm. They did. They, they presented all the evidence. They did a great job. They worked so hard. But this is, our, a jury made the decision. They're the judges of the facts. Mm -hmm. And this is the evidence that they received. And they held the, the state's feet to the fire. And they did not feel, although others disagree and sure. will disagree, they did not feel that the state met their burden. Michelle Suskauer, as always, fascinating analysis of this bombshell decision out of the center of our state today. Casey Anthony once again find, found not guilty of first degree murder today. She was found guilty on lesser charges providing false information to law enforcement officers. That uh, sentencing coming down in the next couple of days will stay on top of that for you. We'll have a special report on News Channel 5 and Fox 29 at 4 o'clock this afternoon. And again, full coverage on WPTV.com. We'll see you right back here at 4 o'clock. Have a great afternoon.